I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast from San Diego to Seattle with a goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. Yeah, I got color. <laughs> so come along as I fish both fresh water and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. Yeah! <laughs> I'll also be sharing behind the scenes footage of detours, wildlife, sampling the local flavors, and cooking up a variety of fish. Woo! Look at those teeth. That ain't strong. That is too cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what a gnarly looking animal. Yeah! Fish out. Yeah, I got color. Nice. This is Field Trips with Robert Field. What? Whoa! Whoa! Big fish of the trip so far. Yes! That was incredible. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys, so a couple of my YouTube friends, uh, Ty Sutherland and Marty Zoffinger, were telling me at iCast that I need to start vlogging. And when I first heard the concept, it seemed kind of silly to me, but the more I thought about it, I realized that some of the most common questions I get are, you know, how do you make a living in kayak fishing? What all does that entail? What all does that involve? You know, how do you make money doing that? And so I started to think about it and realized that vlogs could be a really cool way to kind of show you guys behind the scenes, show you guys what all it takes to really make a living in this sport. And this is my first stab at it. I really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm asking you guys, you know, comment in the section below um, what you'd like me to talk about, if there's anything you have questions about. Uh, I'm really big on answering every single question on my YouTube channel. I try to respond to every single comment. So comment below if there's anything you want me to address. Uh, maybe, you know, how I pack for a trip like this. Uh, maybe how I plan for a trip like this. I've got a map uh, of all my stops. I've got an Excel sheet with all my stops and the people I'm meeting up with. So I don't want to just do vlogs about, you know, me going to the grocery store or me getting a cup of coffee at a gas station. I want to kind of revolve these around these trips that I go on. I'm just now starting a month long road trip where I'll be going from San Diego all the way up the West Coast to Seattle and fishing with different guides and industry people in the sport of kayak fishing all along the way. My first stop is in San Diego, California. I'll be meeting up with some of the Hobie guys, uh, Kevin Nakata, Mike Ponce, and, and hopefully Morgan Promance. We'll be fishing out of La Jolla and Dana Point, fishing offshore in Southern California for yellowtail, calico bass. Uh, there's a bunch of sharks out there. Uh, so that's my first stop. But before I get there, I'll be stopping in Albuquerque, New Mexico tonight to crash on the couch of a friend of mine, Lindsey Epperson, who actually randomly I met on the Frio River uh, on the 4th of July. Yeah. Kind of kept in touch and she's right there halfway along my trip. So 10 hour drive today, crash on Lindsay's couch tonight, and then a 12 hour drive tomorrow to get to Dana Point to uh, go fishing Friday morning offshore. Well, that's one state down, got all the way through Texas and got uh, two more to go through before I get to California. I am literally in the middle of nowhere it is just flat desert and mesas as far as i can see and it's been that way for about the last two and a half hours there is nothing out here <laughs> all right we're in santa rosa new mexico still in the middle of nowhere uh, and i got about two hours to albuquerque so finally seen the light at the end of the tunnel all I can say is thank God for audiobooks. Staring at the desert non-stop for six hours straight. I don't think I would have made it with just some music. <laughs> Time to get back on the road and it's the home stretch for today's journey. So when you're driving for 10 hours straight through the desert with nothing to look at but cactus and shrubs, you have a lot of time to think. And what have I been thinking about? Fishing. I have literally been imagining myself holding up just about all 40 species that I'm going to be targeting on this West Coast trip. And the reason I've been doing that, I watched this movie about a year ago. My friend Christina Weber made me watch the movie The Secret. And what The Secret is about, what The Secret is, is that anything you want out of life, anything you want to accomplish, anything you want to attain, the key to doing so is to literally ask the universe for it. Put it out in the universe. And that might involve saying it out loud, that might involve writing it down, you know, take a picture of it, hang it up in front of your desk, look at it every day, 
But literally the concept is that if you ask the universe for something, if you put it out in the universe, you know, say it out loud, more often than not, you'll get it. And it sounds silly, it sounds simple, you know, it sounds like no way, that can't be true. Um, but there are a lot of concrete examples in this movie. I highly recommend you watch the movie The Secret. And when I truly became a believer in this concept was a couple months ago, we were heading to Panama. And on the flight there, the guy next to me literally was laughing at me. I verbally said out loud, I'm gonna catch my first yellowfin tuna and I'm gonna catch my first rooster fish. And sure enough, about halfway through the trip, I got my first yellowfin and literally with two hours left in this week long trip, I mean, the trip's over, I've lost all hope. I accidentally dropped my jig down, as you'll see in the video, and caught my first rooster fish. And that right there was enough proof for me that this, at least, you know, if it doesn't work, I mean, it sure isn't hurting. So ever since then, anytime I've got a goal in life, I try my best to really put that out in the universe. You know, say, hey, I want my first yellowfin tuna. And I'm telling you guys, it's working. And it sounds silly, it sounds simple, but watch that movie. It explains it a lot better than I can. And uh, yeah, so for the last 10 hours or so, I've literally been like imagining myself holding up these different fish, you know, like here's my, my first yellow yellowtail with Kevin Nakata and Mike Ponce holding it up. You know, it's probably, can't even fit in the car. It's gonna be massive, but uh, we'll see. I've been doing that uh, pretty much the entire drive down. I'm gonna keep doing it. And I guess we'll know in about a month whether or not it works see how many of these species I can knock off my list. All right, well, here we are, Albuquerque, New Mexico. About to pull up at Lindsay's house. This place is not really what I expected. I thought it was just gonna be flat desert, but uh, you can't see him right here. There's actually a bunch of mountains around. This place is pretty cool. Hey. What's up? Nothing much. Hey. He loves people, hey. so. Nice. You're on so the first funny. ever uh, Robert Field vlog entry. Hi. Behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Good, thank you. Let me crash. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, Much like... easier than getting a hotel. Yeah. Or expensive here. Yeah, I'm like broke, <laughs> starving artist, so <laughs> hotels are not in the budget. So. Yeah, I bet. I was probably gonna just sleep in my truck outside <laughs> the highway, so this is way better. Oh my gosh, yes, this is way better. <laughs> We're gonna grab some food, and I'm probably gonna edit this video. So uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow on the way to California. All right guys, thanks for checking out my first ever vlog episode. Uh, like I said, I do not know what I'm doing, so feel free, comment below if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future vlog, I answer every single one. If you wanna check out the second episode in the vlog series for the West Coast Tour, click right here. And as always, if you don't mind, if you enjoy myself, I'd love for you to subscribe by clicking right here. After the next vlog episode, will be the first episode of the actual fishing, and it's gonna get good. See you guys in the next one.